Okay, I've had some people um, ask me on or message me on YouTube on how I keep my bike so clean. Well, obviously, for one, a garage. My bike is always covered all the time, obviously, because of the garage. So, I also, I, I love to keep it showroom finish new looking. You know, like, I've asked, someone asked how I got the M4 so shiny. Um, here where I live, they're like, how the hell do you use all? I see this bike a lot because I do ride any chance I get. And I got asked, he goes, how do you keep your bike looking like you just bought it? And it has 2,000 miles on it. Well, it's quite simple. You know, my dad fried it into my skull to take care of my stuff. Because anytime when I was a kid, if I broke something, I never got a replacement. He said, if you want a replacement, you got to go and earn it your, you know, work and buy it yourself. So, I really, really, at the time, of course, I didn't understand why, but I really thank my dad for it now. So, anyway, like, I keep the engine immaculate as well. Under here, immaculate. These look like, the, it looks like the bike hasn't even started. You know, doesn't even look like it has a mile, one mile on it. Because, uh, again, that same guy that was asking me about it, he goes, he's like, how, how many miles do you have on your bike? I told him it was like just about 2,000. And he's like, it doesn't even look like it has a single mile on it. And, well, I like to keep my stuff looking good. You know, looking clean, looking nice. I mean, there's no dirt or nothing, you know. I try to keep it as much as possible, obviously hard to get back up in here but you know other than just the sitting from in the garage from dust that's about it and I just keep just keep on top of it you know what I mean just love it cherish it and take real good care of it so that's pretty much it and uh, I've had some scratches up here on the tank from improper washing and I kick myself in the ass for that now that I really know how to wash uh, bikes now and my car so like my chain has no rust on it whatsoever I use chain wax that's not rust that's where you take off the chain if you had to or to replace it whatever no oil right here where the oil filters at just keep it immaculate. But anyway, um, these are the products I like to use. I use this Turtle Wax Ice Synthetic Detailer for like the wheels under down on uh, the rims, sorry. And then I'm also very careful not to get anything on the tires. And then for the, for the scratches that I took care of up here, you can't even see them anymore. There's a few you can still see, but not as much. But for the products that I used for that was Meguiar Scratch X2 first, and then the Swirl X Mark uh, Swirl Remover X. Use those two. But first, before I did that, I used this uh, ice clay kit. And it was pretty cheap. Obviously, it was only six bucks. So I was like, what the hell? Why not? And I used this first to get rid of all the contaminants on the paint. And then those. Sorry. And then after that's all said and done, I used this wax. The Meguiar's Next Generation Tech Wax 2.0. And it really helps. That's just them promoting their clay bar. So... It really helps in keeping the paint looking new. And I have put it all over the bike. And thanks to the scratch and the Swirl X remover, I actually have a better shine now because it pretty much microfiber, wow, microscopically scratches the paint and then fills it in. 
So it buffs out the scratches you existing have, and then it also scratches the clear coat so it brings out a better shine. You put wax on top of it, it looks even better. So that's pretty much it on how I keep my bike looking immaculate, and that's the way I like to keep it. If I ride it in the rain, or I get caught in the rainstorm or something like that, I bring it home, I wipe it down immediately. And then whenever it's sunny outside, I'll wash out in between here, inside the engine compartment, stuff like that. My radiator, can't get rid of that, but no problem, whatever. Um, I think the last time this had water on it was at the end of summer, was whenever I washed it last. But I've just been keeping up with it on those products obviously and uh, oh then how I keep the black looking so good like right in here this this back here I don't it actually only got a little bit on the seat but oh well um, the M4 which it does heat up and that's pretty much it it's it still looks good whenever it heats up so it doesn't matter and then the engine casings and all that how I keep that looking just black as black even though the product says do not use on motorcycles but you know the Sun does have an effect on these obviously so I use the black magic pro shine protectant again on the back of this you can't see it but it says do not use on motorcycles well yeah obviously because if you were to get this on the tire you could slip out low side high side whatever but if you're just very careful, and I mean very careful, like squirt it on the rag, not onto the bike itself. Squirt it onto a rag, just do the mirrors. Do right here, right here. You know, everywhere that's black, just not the wheels, then you're not gonna have any problems. I think that's just there for idiots that don't have common sense. And if you're one of those idiots, I do not apologize. <laughs> I'm an asshole sometimes, what can I say? But yeah, anyway, that's it. That's how I keep my bike looking showroom quality new. And yeah, um, I'm gonna get some more upgrades coming up soon. And uh, those are gonna be a surprise. So be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Give me that thumbs up for the bike, not me. If you love the Ninja, if you don't love the Ninja, still give me a thumbs up. I don't care. <laughs> But give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, that's that. Ninja, baby. Fuck the rest. <laughs>